Hello and welcome to another episode of I Am. My name is Hayden Ali and I am the producer and the host for this show. And this week we are spotlighting Leslie Ackman, who is the co-owner of the business here in town called Cool Cats. Um, so how are you doing today, Leslie? Great. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. Absolutely. i looking forward to our conversation and yes. it's, been, it's been good to hear a little bit about what you're about so far. So I'm excited to learn more. Great. Thank you. So do you just want to go through and tell me a little bit about the history of Cool Cats here and sure. just your involvement here in the community? Yes, I would love to. So Cool Cats, a lot of people may not know this, but it started back in the early 2000s. And if you've seen our trailer around town, it was just the trailer. And there was a local um, family in town and they wanted a way um, for their high school kids to make money in the summer. So they started Cool Cats and the trailer was parked um, down in the south part of town, I think down by McDonald's in that parking lot. And um, so that's how it started. It was just a summer business. And then um, another lady, a local businesswoman in town, when she was in high school, she bought the business. And then my husband and I ended up buying the trailer when our daughter was about, um, I think she was about 10 or 12 years old. We bought it for her birthday present. Oh wow. And um, we ended up not doing anything with it. And one day our son came home from high school about four years later and said, Mom and Dad, everybody wants you to start Cool Cats back up. And so we were like, okay. And so we started the trailer back up and we weren't very popular that first summer. We were parked clear on the edge of town, um, south end of town. And um, this building here that we're in right now, uh -huh. we owned it, but it was um, Simply Siam um, was in the building at that time. They were renting from us. And so we knew they were gonna be moving out of the building. And so we decided to move our trailer here in the parking lot. And then that's where it started. So from year two to about year seven, we were solely out of our trailer um, in this location that we're in right now. So you have your business here at mm -hmm. Cool Cats, but you're also involved in a program called the, the Big Brother Big Sister here in the town yes. of Maryville. Yes. Maybe for the, the viewers that don't know, could you just explain uh, what that program is and yes. your involvement there? Um, it's a fantastic program where they take um, an adult and they match you with a little. So I'm a big and my match is a little. And she's 10 years old. And she's actually here today watching this and um, she's 10 years old and what the program does is they, they take an adult and then they match you with um, a child that usually it's like a one parent um, household or, or something like that in, in that situation and so maybe the mom um, or the dad depending on who is the primary uh, caregiver there maybe just needs some extra help um, you know it can be hard to be a single parent and working and, and have an, a family and so it gives um, that child time yeah. to have one-on-one -on -one time with their big I love it too for myself it really helps me and it helps um, just remind me you know how blessed I am to live in such a great community and there's so many great people in this community so many great kids Mm. And I just want to encourage your viewers, um, they're always looking for, for bigs, and there's a lot of college kids that participate. A lot of Northwest athlete, um, athletes are bigs, and so if they're interested, um, they should look on Facebook for Big Brother Big Sisters in Nottoway County. Yeah. yeah. Well, hey, thanks for sharing more about yes. that. Yes. I, I think it's a cool community gear that you're doing there. Yes, um, thank you. Tell me, is there anything else that you're a part of here in the town of Maryville that just makes you you that you want to talk about or um, mention? One of the things that I love to do that most people don't know when um, they come into Cool Cats, they just see me as Mrs. Cool Cat, um, yeah. is my, my real passion is art therapy. And so I work with the Wounded Warriors. And um, if you don't know what that organization is, it's a fantastic organization for men and women that have been in combat. Um, it's a national organiza organization and you know they come back and they suffer from PTSD they suffer from trauma um, and they they just don't know what to do with you know maybe they're suicidal um, it, just so many things it's hard on their marriage and I teach an art therapy session with them in art therapy if you don't know what that is or your viewers may not know um, it's just a way that 
they can express themselves, express maybe their anger, express their their passions, even their happiness, whatever it is that they may be feeling, mm -hmm. and they can express that in a different way than maybe being violent or maybe just being so depressed they can't get off the couch or eating or something. That is my my true passion in life is working with those kind of people. So it's been a real blessing to do that. So. Yeah, I can see that being a fulfilling thing to do and it just, is, just yeah. helping people out and through, through those times. It is, yeah. Well, hey, thanks for agreeing to being on the show today. Yes. And just sharing more about who you yes. are and what you're all about. So yes. maybe learning another, another side of Cool Cats. And exactly. People may yes, I love it. And thank you. It's been great. Yeah, absolutely. So, hey, that's another episode of I Am for you guys. And be sure to tune in next week for another episode.